This is the last video of our Hawkeye series. This time we take a closer look at the high res audio track over here in the control panel. Let us use the entire screen this time. Normally Hawkeye is just showing you information, but it also does some processing, which can be made audible by engaging monitor. You can now listen to, for example, the solo signal of left, right, mid and side. Okay. Now, checking high resolution audio content for noise versus audio is hardly possible unless you're a bat. I believe that most of you are not and therefore we need help. Hawkeye can shift an audio content that is normally beyond the human auditory capabilities into the audible frequency range. What you get to hear then can be surprising. You may have received tracks from your clients or you may have purchased high res songs online. All you want to know is if this is real high res or just a fake that has noise or artifacts to offer above 22 kHz. Now, we activate bandpass and two red vertical lines appear in the FFT. They also appear in the spectrogram and in the pano face view. You can grab the range defining upper and lower cut off frequency lines at the lower part and move them. The minimum frequency band is 1 kHz wide. And when moving one handle closer than that, the other handle will automatically move maintaining the minimum range. The whole bandpass can be moved by clicking into it and dragging horizontally. You can create a new bandpass by clicking somewhere in the frequency range and holding the mouse button pressed and then you drag up or down to define the width of the bandpass. Okay, let's start with our analysis with uh, a simple high-res fake. And for reasons of discretion I will fade out the audio track. This example is a 24-bit recording at 88.2 kHz sample rate. All looks good here. The bit depth check shows all 24 bits containing audio. All good so far. Now we select the linear view of the FFT analyzer. You can immediately see that there is absolutely no audio content above 22 kHz. This is a fake. The next example is a high-res pop recording and an example for bad upsampling. All looks good as well at first glance. Bit depth OK. All good so far. We select the linear view of the FFT analyzer. And you can see three spikes at 23, 24.7 and 28.8 kHz. Let us select the bandpass and position it around the spikes. Then we engage transpose and I will increase the volume so that we can hear this. This sounds like digital interference. We can fairly say that something went wrong during upsampling. Next is a high-res grand piano recording of a classical piece. First thing that we noticed is that the balance leans to the left. We can also see that in the level meters and in the histogram. Let's investigate this a bit further. Uh, we select the pano face view and we see that almost across all frequencies the recording is louder on the left, especially in the low end. This may indicate that the recording was made with microphones in the grand piano where a microphone picks up the lower strings, others pick up the higher strings and some ambience may be added. Now let's switch to the linear view. 
above 34 kilohertz we can see some nasty periodical spikes almost exactly 500 hertz apart and when we switch back to fft there are even more spikes to see below all below 34 kilohertz and 500 hertz apart Yeah, hard to say where this comes from, but it should not be there. The last example is a famous blues song that was put out as a high-res recording. First thing we noticed is that this recording is heavily limited. You can see the spike up here before 0 dBFS in the histogram of the level meter. We can also see this in the vector scope. We move the slider to the right so that the beam is held longer. And you can see that the spikes of the mid signal are heavily hitting the wall. Uh, and looking further, um, bit depth is okay as well and there is no DC offset. So this is all good. Now we set the FFT to linear. we see a rapid roll-off of about 30 dB, which exactly ends at 22 kilohertz. Hmm. If this was a real high-res recording, this roll-off should not be there. Uh, does that mean that it is upsampled? Hmm. Let's listen to what is above 22 kilohertz. We engage bandpass and we engage transpose. And I move the bandpass lower and we hear the loudest parts in the 10 to 20k region are all on the beat. And now we move it up above 22 kilohertz again and we see that there is only a representation of the offbeat sounds. Okay, so this may reveal that only certain instruments have been recorded in high res but definitely not all of them. Right, okay folks, that was the last part of our Hawkeye video series. I hope you liked it and that you find Hawkeye as useful and convincing as I do. And we at SPL strongly believe that the use of Hawkeye will eventually lead to a higher quality in audio production. Thanks again for taking the time to watch. All my best, have fun and bye-bye.